Hi, this is Peter. So now, okay, let's talk about the um, menus inside the FS7. So the setting now is the FS7, okay, so with um, the SDI 2 out and then to uh, OLD Sony monitor. So why I have to mention um, the SDI 2? Because if you want to show your uh, uh, viewfinder information and also even go to the menu setting onto a screen or maybe a, a EVF or something else, and then you might have to put it onto the SDI 2 because the SDI 1 all the time is a clean video SDI signal. So, okay, so I will show you how to set it up. So we go to the menu first. So in the menu, I will not going to go through every, every settings, but uh, some of them which is uh, different maybe uh, than the, uh, the others, and especially this is for the uh, FS7, I will show it up to you. So, okay, user probably is the same as most of the Sony uh, setup, um, camcorder. Camera probably the same. Pain, this is probably the, um, uh, the setup for your uh, light, maybe a um, gamma, uh, peaking, not peaking, gamma, uh, color saturation, skin tone, something else like that. But now it's all disabled because I'm now using the scene EI with the s 3 So they are, now it is not allow me to set everything up through this. Audio, probably the same. Video out, okay. So let's talk about the video out first. Okay, the video out is talking about the two SDI out and the HDMI out on the side and the other side of the FS7. So you have to set it up. Okay, so in here, so you will find out, okay, probably if you are um, uh, shooting or the, uh, um, the format, the recording format is probably the QHD and then you can go to this menu and then to set up the HDMI out, which is to full 4K or the QHD, but you, is, you find out, okay, once you do that, your SDI cannot support the 4K. So this is also the reason why I think, okay, someone asks, okay, if I don't put on the XDCA FS7, can I get maybe uh, the, um, um, the SDI, uh, the 4K out, maybe full the SDI? I don't think maybe at this moment, and hopefully they can, they can do that. Okay, so because this monitor is a full HD, so I just set it back into, um, into uh, um, of which the so you go to set that's it and then um, look up table so look up table is something which is very important for you if you are using the s lot 3 uh, or the CNEI because okay if you're using an s lot 3 always they were showing you a very um, uh, very grainy, not saturated or even like maybe uh, always under like maybe uh, shots so if you're showing this on the screen like this, probably you will actually get like maybe a complaint by the director and also maybe by the actor said, okay, oh, why you are shooting like always under or maybe the, the, the color is so ugly. So just because you are using RAW, RAW probably you're going to do the, the, the color correction and uh, uh, corrections at the, at the post. So you want to show something which is actually probably the uh, corrected pictures so you need to go to the lookup table so in here you can set up the lookup table preset lookup table and also you can use you can put on your own lookup table setting into it so for example now I set the lookup table at a preset so you will now see the preset they have several uh, presets for example like the uh, the 709 800 uh, percent uh, the hyper gain 1 hyper gain 2 and also s lot 2 and 3 s 2 is actually disabled because I'm using s 3 So what's the difference in between each other? So let me just like disconnect the SDI 2 and then connect the SDI 1. So now you've got like a clear display. So this is the outlook which I uh, the same as the s 3 So now this is the hyper gain. Hyper gain 1, 2 and also the uh, uh, the 709, uh, 800%. So you will see this is probably very different than the s lot 3 output, which is like this. So it is good for you to always showing something which is already corrected and then maybe is, uh, is uh, to lack, to, to, um, to close all those like maybe miscommunication in between like maybe the picture itself. So the lockup table is probably very important for you when you're using the s lot 3. So uh, let me just put it into uh, the 709-800. So I just put this connector back into the SDI2. 
Okay, so you will see the display, you will see the menu again. So you can also set up the, um, the, the lookup table whether you want to show into the SDI 1 recording, SDI 2, or maybe HDMI. So you have to make sure, for example, like if you want to maybe to get a raw, um, not a raw, but it's S slot out maybe to uh, a recorder, for example, like maybe Sugan or maybe a sound device, and then you have to make sure that you ha you ha your setting for the lookup table is on or off. Okay, so let's go out. And then this is, this is actually the, the output display. So if you want to show maybe uh, the information like on the screen or maybe you have an EVF which you want to show the information and then uh, on the menu because you don't, want, you don't like this display and then okay probably you have to set over here. So if I put both off and set, now you would, all the menus and also, also the information on your viewfinder will also be all gone. So you have to make sure that maybe uh, what setting you are probably want to show. So the wheelfinder probably the same, and then I will not go into uh, um, talking about time code probably the same. So I'm also not talking about so the um, the super slow motions. So a lot of people want to show maybe uh, just how to set the super slow motion first. Okay, if you use if you shoot on QHD, super slow motion is actually disabled. The super slow motion is only work on HD situations only. So because we are now in the, um, in the uh, uh, QHD recording, so that's why you see only I can set on the 60, that's it. So how about like 150 and or maybe 180 on the, on the NTSC, I cannot set. So that's why the high frame rate is probably disabled. So what I do is probably, okay, I just bypass everything and then I go to the, uh, the system first, Okay, I go to the recording formats, video format, and then set it back into the um, uh, Full HD first. So when I back into Full HD, then I back into the, um, the slow motions, and then now you will see the high frame rate is actually enabled. So now I can go to the full scan, then I can go to the full scan frame rate, and then I can set into the maximum 150 frame per second. So when I going out, and then okay, when I press the uh, S and Q button in here, so you will see the display probably. So let me set up, okay. So back to the uh, menu again, set 150 frame. Okay, so go go back to the uh, to the menu again. Okay, so now you will see in the display there will be a hundred film, hundred fifty film per second. So we off, so now it's fifty. So back on is a hundred and fifty film per second. So when you press the recording, and then probably you will see the um, the video shot is probably the same as uh, maybe uh, uh, what you uh, normally shoot without maybe a slow motions. And then once you stop it, and then you will find out, okay, oh, so why don't they have, uh, they don't have like a playback for the slow motion? Because this is actually a non-buffer, non-stop slow motion recording. So if you want to see the previous shots, you have to go to the thumbnail as, um, as always, as normal situation with a lot of like uh, Sony camera. And then you find the, um, the shots that you want to show. So which is the last bit. And then it plays. So this is now the 150 film recording and then show in the 50 film per second. So this is a super slow motion setup. So it's a bit different than the, uh, than the FS700. So we'll let, let's just get it back into the, uh, the main menu setting. So and then now, okay, so continues on the menu. So remember, if we, when you go to the um, SNQ motions, if you're shooting on 4K, so which is the QHD, you cannot have uh, the super slow motions. Okay. So SDI recording control, so that is like the SDI flat. So if you connect it to a recorder, and then maybe they have a SDI flat function, when you press the, SD, uh, the, uh, the recording, even you don't have the cuts, you can still directly control the recorder to start and stop. So it's always just on, and then I think it's, uh, it's better than just off. Okay, 
So the main setting on the file is probably the same. So I want to show more about like this setting. So in the setting, basic setting. So it's just like the F55. If you want to do, if you want to use the uh, S lot three and then S gamut or maybe the S lot two, first you have to set up the um, the scene EI. So if I put it onto the custom, so that means is uh, is the normal uh, conditions without the S lot. So now in the display, you will probably see the original one, which uh, which is the the pink, is all enabled again. So you can set everything up. But uh, if you want to go into the uh, SLR three and then you can uh, do the color calibration later, so you have to set it up into the scene EI. Then you do execute. So you see the difference immediately. And then you set like rather, maybe you want to have a slot two or maybe the uh, slot three. So this is, let me set the slot three. So it's slightly, maybe a less dynamic range compared with the slot uh, uh, three. So probably you see, already see the difference in between each other. So then the codec. Because I don't have the raw recorder, but you in the set in the setting you can have like maybe uh, deal recording. What that means is you can have like a raw recording at the same time with uh, XAVC or maybe a uh, raw with uh, MPEG4, uh, the MPEG HD422, which is the um, the uh, the PMW200 codec, and then this is a lot of like maybe a recording combinations in between each other. So I set it back to the XAVC intro. Then, okay, recording format. For sure, you, you, if you want to shoot on HD with a super slow motion, you have to set at least Full HD or under. And then if you want to shoot like 4K, so definitely go, go up into a, into a 50 or 60, like maybe a QHD format. So underneath, and then you just like do all those kind of gen law, lamp, and then this is a fair, uh, maybe a common setting, which um, maybe most of a camera have. And then, okay, so other than that, the last thing I want to I want to mention is the uh, recording media. So, at this moment in the market, you will you will you can get the N series, S series, and also G series XQD card. But if you are shooting like QHD, uh, XAVC Intra high speed uh, uh, recording, you must have to have at least S series or maybe even G series card because the N series is not compatible. So when you buy the cards, you have to make sure that like which card or maybe which format you are actually recording. Otherwise, and then you might have to buy another card again. So, and also give you some idea, if you got like maybe a, a 32 gigs um, a card and then you're shooting like uh, a QHD, I think probably you can only record like um, you can only record, for example, like 11, 11 minutes because uh, for 120 gigs, you got like less than an hour. So if you want to shoot on 4K, you might need to buy a lot of like maybe cut like that or maybe through the output and then maybe record it onto maybe a, a recorder, for example, like maybe a Sogun or something else. And then maybe it would be even more economy, maybe uh, it's saving more money compared with buying a lot of cuts. So, okay, if you want to know more information about like this FS7, please visit ANS website.